Hi, my name is Dave, and I'm here to talk about storyboarding. Here at Koi Fly, we use storyboards as a visual reference for the shots that we're planning to make during the shoot. The director and DP can use them during the shoot as a point of reference for lighting and blocking the scene. I've always liked to doodle, so this way I get to doodle with a purpose. Not now, intern Lisa. It's boarding time. My particular process really depends on the project. Sometimes I'm given a script or a general idea and I visualize it in my mind and put it on paper so that it can be utilized during the shoot. This way, the team can get an idea of how the shot will look like and we can build a shot list from there. Other times, the director has a specific shot that she or he has in mind and I'm tasked with translating it onto paper so that we can faithfully recreate the director's vision when we shoot. We typically shoot in 16 by nine, so I use a template with that ratio. 16 by 9 refers to the aspect ratio between width and height. Other common aspect ratios used in film today would be 1.85 to 1, 2.39 to 1, and of course, 4 to 3. Nerd! I like to use mechanical pencils because that's what I used when doodling instead of taking notes in class. To me, the right soundtrack is essential to getting in the right headspace. Pull up in a monster automobile gangster with a bat mm, that came from Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm in a Tonka color of Willy Wonka. You can be the king, but let the queen conquer. You get used to it after a while. I'm passages. Storyboards are an important and essential tool in filmmaking and can be proof that doodling as a child can pay off. Subscribe to The Dash for more tips and tricks for marketing, production, and design. Check out koi-fly.com for more content. I'm embarrassed.